Good morning students. I welcome you all to a new class in physics. Today we are going to start with a new chapter and that is magnetism. We all know that magnets are uh, naturally found under the earth's crust and natural naturally occurring magnets are known as lodestones. Basically what is a lodestone? A lodestone is an ore of iron oxide. And the formula, the chemical formula of iron oxide is Fe3O4. It is found under the earth's crust. And there are two main properties of a natural magnet. The first being that it attracts small pieces of iron. And secondly, a natural magnet sets itself along a definite direction when it is suspended freely. You know, whenever we suspend a magnet freely, it always comes to rest in the north-south direction such that the north pole of our magnet faces the geographic north of the earth and the south pole of the magnet faces the geographic south of the earth. Okay children, so there are two main properties shown by a natural magnet and it is known as lodestone. Okay, now initially if we look at the fact that lodestone is not having any proper shape, it has any, ir it is irregularly shaped and it is of different odd shapes, it is available in odd shapes, but when it is brought out from the earth's crust, then it is used, it can be given a shape and it is used as a natural magnet, but here what happens is that a natural magnet is a weaker magnet and uh, the best and it has got various applications in our day-to-day -day life so for that purpose we make our own magnets and they are known as artificial magnets now i will show you a few artificial magnets actually artificial magnets are magnets which are man-made and they are found in different shapes and sizes like you have a bar magnet you have a horseshoe magnet you have magnetic needle and you have a magnetic compass i'll show it to you you can see here the, these are bar magnets. These are bar magnets. And uh, you can also see children here. There is a white dot marked. This represents the north pole of the bar magnet. And the opposite pole is the south pole. So this is a bar magnet. These are artificial magnets. Then here is a horseshoe magnet. It looks like a uh, horseshoe. Here also it also has a north pole marked. And uh, one side is the north pole and the other is the south pole then this is a magnetic needle you can see this is a magnetic needle it is also an artificial magnet and this is a magnetic compass so here there are different types of artificial magnets which we are uh, which which are man-made magnets now let us look at let us study some properties of a magnet uh, you must be aware of the properties but still i will show you what are the properties with the help of this small demonstration you can see that i have brought the north i have kept the north pole of the magnet and here i have placed the north pole and I bring the uh, north of the other magnet. See both are marked with the white dots. I bring the north of a magnet closer to the north. I want you to have a look, careful look at what happens. See, you, can, you saw children, when I brought the north pole towards the north, it repelled. And when I bring the south pole towards the north pole, see what happened? It, it, it attracts. So therefore, this is the first property of the uh, magnetism of magnets that like poles will repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. Now the next property is that now I have brought some, I have kept some iron fillings over here and I bring the bar magnet, I hold the bar magnet above these iron fillings. You can see that these iron fillings have got stuck to the corners of the uh, bar magnet. Now what is this property called? This is called the magnetic property of the magnet. Once again, I show it to you. This is a bar magnet and I roll it over the iron fillings. And as soon as I bring it over the iron fillings, they get attracted towards the poles of the magnet. And this shows the magnetic property of the bar magnet. So I told you that like poles repel, unlike poles attract and the uh, magnetic property of the magnet. And then uh, there is another property of the magnet that is uh, whenever you suspend a bar magnet freely, it always comes to rest in the north-south direction. Now we come to some uh, a very important property of a magnet and that is called as induced we will study induced magnetism. Now what is the meaning of the word induced? Induced magnetism is that when you take a magnet and you, uh, you know, uh, in order to understand what is induced magnetism, I will again show you a simple demonstration. Now here for this particular demonstration, I have taken 
a few pins i have taken a few pins over here these are paper pins and this is a bar magnet now what am i going to do just have a careful look i have chosen any one pole of the magnet and i am attaching the pin at the end of the magnet you can see that it is getting attached and then i take another pin you can see that there is a chain of pins which are formed one after the other and this property have a careful look children when i am attaching one pin below the other what is happening is that these pins are attracted and they form a chain they are forming a chain of mag uh, of pins now what happens why are these pins getting attracted what happens the first pin when it is the in case of the first pin when it is uh, attracted by one of the poles of the magnet suppose if this is the north pole of the magnet then it induces uh south polarity on the near end of the pin and the other end becomes the uh, north polarity similarly another pin also gets attracted to it this phenomenon of a magnet attracting one pin to the other to the other forming a chain of pins is known as induced magnetism okay so this property of a magnet to Uh, the property of a iron pin to behave like a magnet under the influence of this bar magnet is called induced magnetism and uh, in order to understand induced magnetism in a in another way i have i have drawn a few diagrams over here okay now i'm going to explain to you with the help of these diagrams i will explain what is induced magnetism see the first case i want you to have a careful look at the first diagram now in this particular diagram i have drawn i have drawn a bar magnet with south and north polarity and these are the chain of pins now what happens actually is why is why is the first pin getting attracted because the end the near end of the pin uh, becomes the south pole due to the uh, because it is getting uh, magnetized due to this north pole of the magnet and the far end be becomes the north similarly the second pin when it gets attracted it becomes the south and the far end becomes the north and this way due to the property of induced magnetism a chain of pins is formed which are attracted to the bar magnet now look at case 2 in case to what have i done there is a bar magnet again with north and south polarity i have attached one pin with the south pole and the other pin with the north now you can see that these two pins they mutually attract each other what is the reason behind this what happens the pin which is uh, which, which, which is attached to the uh, north pole uh, uh, it acquires a south polarity and the far end acquires a north because we know that opposite polarity is induced similarly the one which is attracted which is attached to the south acquires the north polarity and the far end the south so these are unlike poles which are formed and we know that unlike poles attract each other so therefore the pins they face they start attracting each other because of opposite polarity now look at the case 3 in case 3 what have i done again i have taken two pins but i have attached them only to one pole of the magnet now what happens suppose if i attach them to the north pole so it attains the south polarity both of them attain the south polarity and the far ends attain the north polarity and as north and north are like poles so they will repel each other so in all the three cases in all the three cases children it is a demonstration of induced magnetism but the cases differ that is in the first case you have a chain of pins formed in the second case uh, due to opposite polarity the uh, the unlike poles attract each other and in the third case due to similar polarity the like poles repel each other so all these cases represent induced magnetism there is one more thing i want want you to understand about induced magnetism that is if you have a bar magnet and it is placed and you take a soft iron bar and place it near a bar magnet this soft iron bar starts behaving like a magnet because it comes under the influence of this particular bar magnet and you can see children that the north pole of the bar magnet induces a south polarity on the near end and north polarity on the far end and this is why we say that in induced magnetism the soft iron bar attains opposite polarity when it is placed near a bar magnet 
ओके देन देर इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्ट दैट वाई इज इट दैट इंडक्शन प्रोसीड्स अट्रैक्शन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट दैट इंडक्शन प्रोसीड्स अट्रैक्शन द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इंडक्शन प्रोसीड्स अट्रैक्शन इज दैट वेन एवर यू प्लेस अ सॉफ्ट आयरन बार नियर अ बार मैगनेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस सॉफ्ट आयरन बार विल अटेन पोलैरिटी ऑन इट and later on due to induction it will uh, it will behave like a magnet and later on it is going to attract so therefore uh, this statement is that induction will due to induction the soft iron will first start behaving like a magnet and later on it will show the property of attraction okay children so that's all in this class i have shown you um, i just discussed with you that natural magnets a quick recap i told you that natural magnets are uh, called lodestones they are ore of iron they have two important properties that is they attract small pieces of iron and they always when suspended freely they rest in the north south direction then we studied about some artificial magnets in which i showed you a horseshoe magnet i showed you a bar magnet i showed you a magnetic compass and i also showed you a magnetic needle all these were come under the category of artificial magnets after that i discussed with you the magnetic properties that is like poles attract and unlike poles repel each other and also i showed you that a magnet always attracts magnetic material like iron fillings then i also demonstrated to you what is induced magnetism and how does it uh, you know it how does a soft iron bar behave like a magnet when it comes under the influence of a uh, bar uh, how does a soft iron piece behaves like a magnet when it comes under the influence of a bar magnet and we discussed the three cases also and finally i explained to you how does induct uh, how does an induction precede attraction so that's all in today's class children i want you to go through these topics from your textbook uh, and uh, note down your doubts which we will discuss in the uh, doubt class thank you children